look at finding the resistance of an infinite chain of resistors. Um, so maybe something like this. just goes on forever off to the right and we want to know the resistance of say from A to B right here so the first thing we can notice is that we don't have to worry about this these uh, these middle resistors here here and here at all they don't. Um, if, uh, if they don't have anything to do with the resistance between A and B, um, so we'll just toss those out. We're gonna call these will all be the same resistor, or the same resistance. Uh, we'll just call it little R. It's the same everywhere. Um, and so we're going to try and measure the total resistance from. A to B. Right? So, the way we're going to do this is first we're going to, you know, since this is an infinite chain of resistors, if we add another set of resistors, um, one of these sets of resistors, if we add one on to the end here, it won't make any difference because this goes on infinitely already. And so that's what we're going to use to solve this problem. Um, if we call, um, say, um, say we're going to add an extra set on, okay? So right now, let's take what we have here already and we'll just, um, condense it down to uh, one equivalent resistance. Something like this. I guess I should, well, I'll even it out. I'll put one here too. So uh, this equivalent resistance will use big R. And um, so the total resistance from A to B is going to be equal to 2R. We just have to find out what R is. So if we do, uh, like we talked about, and add one more set on um, to this situation, then what we have set of a uh, little r here and then we have the two little r little r little r and then you know we can add one in the middle but like we said that doesn't change anything so we'll just not even worry about that so here's the extra one we're adding on and now we need to have um, the resistance from the rest of this infinite chain. So I'm just putting this circuit here on the end, just the way we've drawn it. So here's a big R and a big R. And this uh, the resistance here has to still be the same as the resistance here, which is equal to So now we look at the, uh, what is the resistance 
of this circuit while you have the series resistors. So if I collapse this down, what it looks like. So here's A. We have a little R, and then we have this. Um, so this circuit is equivalent to what we have right here. Um, I, I drew this wrong. This is a little R here. This one, and this one will be a little R over here, and then on one of these, one branch of the, the parallel part here, we have the two big R's, and then we have these two little R's on the small part. All right. So um, the total resistance, which we know is two R, like this, is going to be equal. Well, first we'll have the two series. And then we're going to add um, the parallel circuits. So that's one divided by one divided by so the two little r plus one over two big r like that. And now we just have to solve this equation for big r um, to find out what two r is, two big r is to find out the equivalent resistance of the whole infinite chain. All right, so if I, um, so this equals 2R, and then what we've got, um, 2 big R plus 2 little r on the bottom, and um, 4 big r, little r on the top, like that. Now if we, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and divide both sides of this equation by 2. So we have big R equals little r plus 2 big R little r and then big R plus little r. We multiply this through, we get r squared plus big R little r equals big R little r plus little r squared plus 2 big R little r. Two of those will subtract off. Big R minus two big R little r minus little r squared equals zero. So this is just a, a quadratic equation. We can use the quadratic formula. So we take um, a negative b, uh, which is two little r. We'll take the positive root because resistance isn't negative. Um, square root of, so b squared is 4 little r squared plus um, uh, that's a minus sign, minus uh, so 4 um, times 1 do get a plus because uh, this is, um, we have an r squared here. All right, and all over 2. Now we can move this. We'll go ahead and move this up in this box. So what we have here. So two little r. I'm going to go ahead and put this two right over here since what we're actually trying to find is two big r. Since that's what we said our final resistance is. Um, this r squared is going to come out as an r. And then we have left over the square root of five. And... So the 
mistake was actually um, up here when I divided by 2. Um, this 2 should have divided out. So this 2 goes away in each of these places. And here and here. So it is. It's um, so the the total resistance of two R 